Five years ago, I attended my first Rubik's Cube competition, all naive and fresh. And here I am 22 comps later, less naive, but still fresh, about to break some world records. Just kidding. How about the fresh part? I'm still gonna break the world record. A new year of cubing demands new goals, and I've written 10 goals which I need to fulfill in 2023. Some of them are pretty ridiculous, but hey, if you're gonna dream, you've gotta dream big. Do you agree? Yeah. <laughs> Goal number one is to attend 10 competitions this year. Just by being here, I've already attended one, so that's 10% of that goal achieved, which is pretty cool. And goal number two is pretty nuts. It's to try and break my three by three single or average. Who knows, it might, it might happen in this very one right now. Let's, let's just see. Didn't break any records, so I'm pretty happy with that time. So what I didn't tell you is that my current 3x3 best time is 9.96 seconds, which is gonna be really hard to beat. My best average, I think, is 12.25, so that might be more doable, but we'll see. Goal number three, these guys are gonna laugh. I wanna get a gold in a competition. Yeah, no chance. <laughs> None of that negativity. I've gotten two silvers and I've gotten five bronzes. All it means is that I need to make it to a finals round and get first place. That's, yeah. that's doable, right? I'm guessing you could do it in blindfold. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Nice, that's big brain thinking there. Uh. We won't talk about that one. Yeah. Goal number four, I wanna get a success at every single event that you can compete in in the WCA. This is my current profile, and as you'll see, I'm only missing one event, which is the good news. Bad news is that it is the hardest event, five by five blindfolded, but you've gotta set hard goals. Anyway, my cube is here, so. Goal number five, keep my PR streak alive. In every comp I've attended so far, I've had at least one personal record. <laughs> and to be honest, I actually think 2023 is the year that my streak is gonna die. Well, no <laughs> records broken yet, but that's all good because I've got seven more events in this comp, so keep watching to see if I'll make history. One really cool thing about this comp, it's actually the first one I've been to where you can buy cubes here because there is a pop-up store right there by Daily Puzzles. Let's go check them out. Okay, I'll ask you a random question. Whoever gets it right, they'll give you the map for free. Free oh, shot. Okay. Oh, there you go. What was my first ever three by three time in a competition? Whoever gets the number that was closest to what it actually was. 34 and 54. The answer is, which means the winner is, yeah, 34, woo! On behalf of Daily Puzzles, you'll probably charge it to me later. Yeah, well done. So far I've told you five of my competition goals for this year. I'm gonna wait till it's time for blindfold solving before I tell you my next few because they have something to do with it. But for now, it is pure Ming's time. The best time that I've gotten in comp so far is 5.47, so we'll see if I can beat it today. We could totally just go head to head right now. If you win, I will buy you a cube cover from the Daily Puzzle store and sign it. Yep. Deal? Yeah. I regret this already. Eight, Eight two. two, three. That's good. Alright. Oh, it takes me so long to like figure out like what, how to turn the last tip. <laughs> Skip. That's good. We've done four solves. So far, Charlie is definitely beating me when it comes to average, but I have the better single, so it all comes down to this last one. It's not fair, it's not fair. Oh it's not piano. It's so rigged. <laughs> I may or may not have made a wager with Charlie. Charlie chose a black Deli Puzzles cover, which is a pretty good choice. <laughs> that I signed it. Yeah, <laughs> the winner. Something I haven't mentioned is that since that first competition, I've made over 200 videos about Rubik's Cubes. And for some reason, that's enough to make people want to take photos with me. Like a lot of people. But you know what? If you pick the right time, I really don't mind. Team Boy Man. This is what it's all about. I've just been asked to sign this water bottle and yep, stay hydrated. Did you actually use this in your cube? Yes. I don't know. I cannot recommend. 
But if this guy breaks the world record, then maybe I can. Subscribe to Eric Cuba. Why are comps in South Australia the best? Well, they're the best because SA is the best. I've been told that the children are nicer here than uh, apparently Queensland, so. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I gotta get back to work. I'm, I'm running. Yeah. Come on. Sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Tough boss. Here you go. <sighs> What are you doing here? The real question is, what is he doing here? That's Tom, my best friend of me. Well, I guess it's like they say, keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer. Tom, I thought you'd get hungry today, so I got you I got you some food that I think just really suits you. Oh, thanks. You. Yeah, you're welcome. Good, good texture, good flavor. Yeah. I'd give it a eight out of 10. That's pretty good, yeah. How's the turning? Good corner cutting. Either I'm not eating enough unicorn LCM, so I'm eating too much. Full unicorn LCM power. Yeah. Not sponsored. That's all. Yeah. That's a nice time there. So this comp venue is actually a bit of a special one because... Hey, does anyone recognize that? Comment below if you think you know where you've seen this. Are you selling like every single thing on these tables? Every single thing. How about the iPad? Okay. Price We're not selling the iPad. Oh, I really clearly remember hating this next event one-handed. I was like stuck in the 30 seconds for like ages. And then one day something suddenly clicked and I unlocked the 20 seconds. It's really cool. Let's see if I can get any new records today. I'll skip for the win. Yeah, let's go. I'm 0.2 seconds off from beating my best average. So close. That was a good round though. What are we doing here? We live like 2,000 kilometers away. Yeah. I didn't want to see you here <laughs> and I go across the country to like have a competition where I don't have to compete alongside Ting them. But oh. He loves me. Vlog is brought to you by Deli Pezzos, the best cube store. They service people in Australia so well, but more and more we're getting like people from all over the world saying Absolutely. like, I'm so glad I ordered something at Deli Puzzles. I'm so yep. glad I use code TINGMAN. So I actually just want to say thank you. Like to the people yep. who actually do use our discount codes to like keep our channels going. If you've never ordered anything from Deli Puzzles before, would you consider it? Just give it a go. And I think you might you be like surprised. Rubik's you don't want Rubik's cubes? Yeah. Why are you even crazy? watching this video? Yeah. You're even a Cuba if you're not jumping at daily puzzles? Like, <laughs> hey, look at that guy <laughs> It's really quiet in here because blindfold solving has just begun, which leads me to goal number six. I want to get three successful blindfold solves in a row. I have done over 25 rounds of blind solves in a competition and only once if I ever got three successes and I got an average of three minutes 19. Surely I can beat that today, right? Team Boy once said that he would rather get third place than second place because second is so close to first and you still miss out. And I feel exactly like that right now. Not only did I not get my three solves, but that last one, I just like sprinted, went as fast as I could, and I was so sure I wouldn't get it. And then I got a time just five seconds off my fastest time. I did not expect to get that. Anyway, that's all right. There's always next time. And that actually leads me to goal number seven for 2023. I want to solve at least seven cubes in a row blindfolded this year. Our current record is six. And unfortunately, there's no multi-blind in this comp, but hey, if I attend nine more this year, surely I stand a chance, right? Anyway, that's it for day one of the competition, and it's time for the smoothest transition you've ever seen to day two. <laughs> First event of the day, it's what happens when you take a Rubik's Cube and you give it a skew, you get a skewb. $9.99. Kind of cool. Yeah, kind of cool times, but so far I had achieved none of my goals for this competition. And to make things worse, I got some horrendous times in the second round of 3x3. Three 
I had the wrong TLL. That's unusual. <laughs> Consistent with the bad times. I needed to get my head back in the game by doing something very important. Have lunch. This is what it means to be Australian. Just eating your national emblem. I'm gonna be honest, if this is a normal meat pie, it's probably like 2% kangaroo meat. That's just like beef. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's a sweet urge to jump. Nearly didn't think that we'd be back in time for 4x4 because literally ran like one kilometer just to get char time. If you want to see the story of how that panned out, you can check out Raph's slog after this. I'll link to it in the description. Ooh, that's pretty bad. Cube pops are one of the dangers of 4x4. So far, char time is not bringing the goods. But three more softs. Uh, another double parody. Are you ready to see the most amazing thing you've seen in your life? Yeah. It'll actually blow your mind. It's mind blowing because I got 55 before yeah. and I got another 55. Yeah. Are you mind blown by that? Yeah. Okay, so far you know 7 out of my 10 goals for the year and I hope you're ready for goal number 8 because it is to compete in every state and territory in Australia. Australia has 6 states and 2 territories and believe it or not, I have competed in every single one except for one. Leave it in the comments if you think you know. <laughs> anyway, let's see if I can get there in 2023. So far, unfortunately, I haven't achieved any of those goals in this comp but let's see if I can get a PR in 5x5. Five my current fastest time is 1 minute 34 seconds. So solve number one was not great, but I tried not to let it get to me and managed to shave seven seconds off that first time. In solve three, I shaved six seconds off that time. And in solve four, I came so close to beating it, but had one layer misaligned, which added a penalty of two extra seconds. So everything was hinging on solve number five. Would I finally be able to accomplish one goal? Whoa. <laughs> Did it. My PR streak lives. 132 on 5 5 is really good for me. And despite messing up my fourth solve, I also got a PR average, which is so good. Those times are going to be hard to beat in the future, but goal five for this comp at least survives. So maybe now's a good time for me to tell you about goal number nine. And it is that in 2023, I want to compete somewhere where I need a passport to get to. So far, all of these 23 competitions have been here in Australia, a beautiful country, don't get me wrong. But could it be that comps 24 to 32 might be somewhere overseas? Which reminds me, if you're not already subscribed, now might be a great time to do so, so you can see how the story ends. As fate would have had it, I made it into my first finals round of the year for 3x3 three three blindfolded. This was my chance to achieve goal number six, three successful blindfold solves, or maybe even goal number three, getting first place in a finals round. I focused, became one with the cube, and this happened. It is so disappointing taking your blindfold off and seeing an unsolved cube. But if there's one thing I've always said, it's that any failure I get today just means that I'm saving my successes for the future. I still believe that. I'm away to the airport, courtesy of Raf. Keep your eyes on the road, man. <laughs> but what did you guys think of my 10 goals for this year? Well, you leave a comment below of which do you think is the most likely that I will succeed in? Okay, okay, I realize I haven't actually told you goal number 10 yet. Let's play a little game. See if you can guess what it is. Goal number 10 is I want to achieve something in cubing that has a likelihood of less than 1 in 15,000. And if you think I need to be lucky for that one, why don't you check out this video over here where I had to be extremely lucky in a competition that was right here again in Adelaide, actually. Yeah, you should watch it. It's a good video. See ya. Hey. <laughs> This is why you should shop at Daily Puzzles. <laughs> That's actually really impressive.